So what if we could search as well? Today's video is proudly powered by our partner, Oxide Hosting. Get your products hosted by them with their cheap, reliable services. So what are you waiting for? Check them out in the description below. Hey everyone, Duncan here from Manunox and welcome back to another JDA4 music tutorial. In this video we are going to add the ability to search for stuff as well. To get started with this we, need, we will need to do a check after we set the text channel. The check is if and we're getting the arcs and if the arguments are empty we're gonna say as you can see down here it needs like a YouTube link or something. So what we're gonna say is channel dot send message correct usage is in backtick so it shows up as a nice link just like that and don't forget to queue this to actually send the rest action. After that right before this get instance on the player manager we will need to create the link. So string link is equal to string dot join. We're going to join it on spaces and we're just going to say get arcs. Next up we're going to check if the link is not a URL. And don't worry about erroring right now, it's a method we're going to create in a second. So if it's not a URL, we're going to say link is equal to uh, and we're going to prefix this with yt search colon. And what yt search colon will do is it will tell Lava Player to search YouTube for this. So it's all built in. And then we can just say instead of this track URL, we can just put this in here and do this. Next up, we're going to come below our get help and we're going to create a is URL method. This is URL will be a private method because we don't need it outside of this class and it will return a boolean and, we're, and it's going to be called is URL. This is actually a very simple function that I basically use in all my code. Uh, then this is not an exception we're going to catch, it's a URI syntax exception. And if that catches we're going to return false. And in here we're going to return true and then we're just going to say new URI and we're just going to say URL. So what this will do is it will attempt to create a new URI. If that succeeds, it, it's all fine, it will return true. But if it does not succeed, it will return, it will actually throw a URI syntax exception. So if it throws that URI syntax exception, it means that it's not a valid URI and we have to return false here. But right now there's one more thing we need to do before this actually works which is going over to our player manager and coming down here to our playlist loaded and adding some code in there. Because the YT search does not return a single track, it returns the entire search page. Because as you can see on the search page of YouTube, uh, you, you can see all these videos uh, that it returns and Lava Player just queries this for the videos that it shows. And because we get a playlist, it has a bunch of tracks that we can add. So what we can do is playlist.getTracks and we're going to just store that in a variable called tracks. Then we're going to say for uh, audio track in tracks. I'm just going to say music manager scheduler and queue the track. But we also want to give a little bit of feedback, which is basically this method above here. Which is just what I use for the feedback. Uh, we can say adding to queue. Um, what we're going to do first is the size of the tracks. Uh, tracks from playlist. That's not how I spell playlist from playlist and we're gonna say 
playlist.getName. So what this will do, it will send a message which is saying adding to queue, then the amount of tracks, and then it will say tracks from playlist and playlist.getName. Now that this is done, we can hit the play command in our IDE and watch it boot up. So now that we are over in Discord, we can go to a voice channel, make the bot join, and then say play menu docs JDA, for example. And it will say adding 17 tracks from Manudox JDA. And as you can see, uh, now I just place them. Um, I'm gonna reset the bot real quick because we don't have a stop command yet. So we're just gonna shut it down. And to show you that links still work, I'm going to grab the link that we had last time, make the bot join, and then play the link as you can see, it just plays fine again. And that's how to make your play command not only accept links, but text as well. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe to Manudox if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time with another tutorial. Goodbye.